Blake Trinan has really impressed in his first four big league appearances, Johnny, and allowing just one earned run over 11 and two-thirds innings. He has given up 18 hits in that time, and he made a big fielding error his last time out when he got the start against the Dodgers on May 6th. But the Nats have really been impressed with his stuff and just kind of his overall demeanor both on the mound and in the clubhouse. Uh, I talked with manager Matt Williams as well as pitching coach Steve McCaddy about trying in earlier today, and they raved about the right-hander who the Nats got 16 months ago in a trade that sent Michael Morse out of D.C. Obviously his arm. You know, he, he throws the ball 97, 98 miles an hour, 95 to, with heavy sink. And, uh, he, and I'd heard about that since we've gotten him over here. But also, he, for a young guy, he has a... Uh, pretty good mound presence. Things don't seem to rattle him. And uh, so that's the first two things I think of. Just the way he goes about his game. I mean, it's he knows what his strengths are and he's going to go with those. And yeah, of course, it's a 97, 96, 97 mile an hour fastball with sink. Those, those are rare. So uh, that being said, I just, I like his attitude and the way he approaches the game and is willing to just take the ball anytime certainly now it's in a starting role but when he was here before and he was relieving he was ready to go every day so um, I think his attitude mostly is is what I like some rookies that come up and get thrust into action might be a little wide-eyed might have some jitters it doesn't seem like he's really had much of that he seemed pretty composed from an yeah. from an outsider's perspective yeah I mean he doesn't show it I don't know what I don't know how uh, you know that that hamsters running around inside but you know, but he doesn't show it on the outside. And yeah, I, I, I think he's I think he's got a, a, a fantastic attitude and and he's ready to go and he'll be ready to pitch today and beyond. And so I, we all like that very much. As hard as this guy throws, if he has the ability to repeat the breaking ball, be consistent with that. Uh, and he has three pitches. Now you're saying, well, gee, you know, we kind of look at this guy with the army has is somewhere in the bullpen because of the inconsistency of the slider. But it's a small sampling, one game watching him. If, if, if you throw him with that velocity, if he's able to repeat that off-speed pitch, the breaking ball especially, and, and use the changeup, you know, you got to look at it and say, hmm, hey, this is a little bit different. A guy that can throw three pitches over consistently, he's a big, strong kid. So, you know, you're, not, you, you're really not sure if it's a bullpen. I look at it and say, well, if I see this, and here's a guy who's got a chance to be a starter. You hear McCaddy discuss that slider. He says that's really the key for trying and going forward. If he can develop that pitch and get some confidence in it, it could really keep the hitters honest and, and keep them off of that hard sinker. Not many pitchers throw a sinker that's in the upper 90s like Trinan, as Matt Williams said. So if Trinan can get a three-pitch mix that he trusts and has confidence in, it could really be effective for him. So let's keep an eye on that breaking stuff tonight, Johnny, as Trinan makes his second big league start. And as you said, looks for his first win in the major leagues.